Hey everybody, welcome to Engineering Scale Models. I'm Jason Grove. I do models and electronics. Just getting the stream pulled up here. We're gonna get started. We're doing some um, some stuff from the Make Electronics book. I've never done that live. I've always uh, done it through the um, through videos. So um, this is a pretty neat project with some LEDs, transistors, capacitors. And things like that so we're gonna um yeah we're, we're gonna work through this it may take a little bit hopefully we get through the whole thing and then i also want to do uh, something else on there so let's get going here let's get everything set up for the stream all right So, all right, so let's go to this camera, say hello to me, hello, how's it going? So this is the Make Electronics book, and we will jump into this in one second. And first I want to, if, if I go to, uh, let's see, which one is it? If I go to this screen here, I have my, my drawing pad screen that I can, you know, I can write on the screen like so and I can show you guys stuff but what I found out that I can do oops, on the screen what I can found out I can do is I can clear the canvas I can go uh, format background and I can add this green color Okay, like that. Exit out of that. So I have the green color, and then I can come here and back to the screen. And I can go down to so I go to this screen, and then I go up to. Oh, let me show you on the. Uh, Why did I not have that? Do I can show you that? Um, let me see if I can turn it on this way. This one. There we go. So if I turn that on, nope, it has to be this one. So in the top, try this one. Hey, beginner. So if I put this up here like so, I can come in here and I can go to the monitor three which is that drawing pad and I can go to filters and I can add a filter, a chroma key. So if I add chroma key, let's call it chroma key. And I want to do custom and I want to select a color and I believe it's this color. Uh, It's not green enough. Try to enlarge that. Oh, here we go. I come down here. That color. Okay, okay. And then now I can adjust that so I can get my toolbar back. Actually, I can just do that all the way. And then if I go to close, and now I take off this i should in theory be able to write on the screen okay so i 
I need to adjust that chroma key some more. Okay, so I'm going to have to have the... So there, so now, like I said, I can write on the screen. I can use red. All right, and then I can write on the screen. You know, I could technically, well, I would be hard to circle things. But I can do that on the screen, and then I can make this screen um, bigger. I can make it so. so it's not showing anything on the screen, and now it's like one of them light boards. Maybe it will be in her. A wallway. I've never worked on a wallway. So if I come down here to there we go, I can crank that and then I can clear the canvas. Clear the canvas. So there we go. Now I have a basic light board where I can write on the screen. So now I still have the there we go. It was over my head. Okay, so let's lock that. So that's an option. And then I can also still put it up there. Um, I've got the filter too, but okay. All right, so that's that. Let's let's take a look at this book here. So I might need that because normally I use my drawing pad for, um, for doing these basic electronics things, so. So this is the basic electronics. So the hot plate away. Okay, so this is the kit that comes with one well, doesn't come with it that you can buy separately for that so let's see we are doing uh an experiment on a wearable led soldering it to a perf board okay so let's let's find where we are on there I had it opened up and then i closed it so that was on soldering roasting an led here it is right here so take that off so you can see here so Here's what we have here. We have experiment 13, a wearable, glowable, wearable pulsing glow. So, uh, so it says, until now, I have encouraged you to start pull, pulling things together without much theory or a plan. That's what we're learning by discovery tends to be like. Sometimes a Sometimes, though, a plan can be essential, and this one is one of those projects. And then I will take you step by step through the building process. So here we're going to need a 9-volt battery and connector or a 9-volt AC to DC adapter. We have a power supply. Um, we need some hookup wires, wire strips, multimeter. We have all that. Um, soldering iron, solder, uh, perf board. We have that in the box here. Let's get our perf board out. Piece of perf board right here. Piece of perf board. So probably get a nine volt battery out and a nine volt battery connector. So we have it.
I normally don't keep these into a uh, finished working project, but you know, so I can have this for more educational purposes in the future. I do teach electronics to young students, so I like to use this as a theory. I haven't made it through this book yet. Okay, well, I definitely should have left that out because I need more pieces. So we need some resistors. We need some 470 ohm resistors. So we'll get the 470 ohm. We need a 100K. Here, here's 100K right here. 100K. We also need 4.7K. Uh, 4.7K and 470K. 47, 100K, 470K, there it is, I have to make sure we pay attention to the color codes, because I have been trolled by grabbing the wrong color code before, now we need some capacitors, we need some 3.3 3, uh, microfarad, which I don't think we have, so I'm going to to do a conversion on this. Nope, 3.3, found them. So 3.3 microfarad and then 220 microfarad. 220. And then, ooh, three transistors. Two in 222 transistors. Let's see what we have here. Two in 222s. And then we need a generic LED. Find that in the generic LED bag. So that should be everything we need out of here. We will. I'll see what we have to do in this board. So put our pieces. Okay. Um, fluctuations revisited. Please turn back to. 2116 refresh memory. Um, 2116. Oh, that's that trolling circuit. Where's it at? Yeah, this is that trolling circuit that was in a previous video um, where I had the resistor wrong. I had a 4.7K instead of a 470K. But um, this is basically an alternating circuit that flashes an LED, basically, pulses it. So you can change the capacitance and the resistance as need be. Um, yeah, this circuit uses ceramic caps. And 3.3 .3 microfarad ceramic caps are not available. So I'm going to have to use... Uh, what was it? I think it was 4.7 is what I used. 4.7 will be fine. So 4.7. I need these two. So I put those right there. All right. So we are going to. Fire up the soldering iron, and then we will, oh, I hate this, I hate it when they do them like this, but hopefully we can get this all taken care of. I got plans on expansion out here coming up, just have to make a few decisions on what I plan on doing. So we have our perf board here. And oh, okay, let's see. How do we want to proceed with this? Um, I really don't need this much of a perf board, but it's not the cuttable kind. So we will proceed. Oh, actually. Hold on one second. I'm going to mute the mic because I'm going to grab something.
Okay, sorry about that. Um, yeah, so this is a better board for this size project. Um, it's, a, it's a little bigger than what I need still, but it's smaller than, than this board. So we're going to we're going to put this together. So we need brown, uh, purple, yellow, or violet, as they call on the chart. So that's one seven with times 10K. So one, no, it's yellow. 4.7 and one zero, so that's 470 ohms. Yeah, I was reading it backwards because it's it's yellow, purple, yellow, violet, brown. So that's a 470 ohm resistor. So we're gonna grab our 470 ohm resistor here. We're gonna take two of these, and that is. Oh, that's 470K. I don't want to make that mistake again. I made that last time. So we're going to put this together. Hey, Jay, how's it going? Uh, hopefully the mic, yeah, the mic sound sounds like it's working. So this is going to be me struggling to get stuff out of a package the whole day. So, all right. So we are going to put these resistors and it looks like they want them to span four spots. So, so in the middle. So we'll put them in there like that. Just like so. And then Um, I'm actually going to move this up a little bit so I can do a barrel jack on there. I actually want to do a solderable barrel jack. I need 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Well, yeah, I'll have plenty of room. So I'm going to actually go one higher. So there's going to be plenty of room for a barrel jack. Okay, so let's zoom in a little bit. So we can still see the, the, for the board here and what I'm doing. So... We're going to... I'm going to give you some tips how to solder this without a pair of helping hands. You don't necessarily need a pair of helping hands to solder these down. So we have those in the, the unit like so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over, straighten my legs out. I'm going to hold it with my pinky. I'm going to hold the resistors with my pinky. And then I'm going to take the solder in my hand here, and these two. All right. And then we're going to touch the board. Shoots here. Yeah, my solder is too small. Let me get my bigger solder here. Got some solder on there and that pushed the resistor out but that's okay because what i'm going to do is 
I'm going to hold it down and I'm going to touch the leg. And I'm going to line that resistor back up, make sure it's good to go. I'm going to get this other one in position because it just moved all out of whack. And what I can do is because I am not, I don't know why it's not working today because normally it does. I'm going to get a little piece of capped on tape. That's what I'm going to do. I don't. I'm not gonna mess with it. I'm gonna get a piece of capped on tape here. Piece. And I'm going to stick this on across those resistors like so. And I'm going to solder the other leg of this. Burn my book. Okay, so now I'm going to solder the other leg here on this resistor. Or solder. that leg all right so now that we're going to check to make sure they're still down which they are and then we're going to touch the other legs with some solder and i haven't built a project like this in a long time with three whole components there's two surface mount and a reflow oven So we got that. I'm going to come in here and we're going to trim these legs off. Now, sometimes you don't have to trim the legs off. You can bend them to their next connection point. But um, I'm going to use uh, jumper wire for that. I'm going, to, I'm going to do it a couple different ways. So let's save that piece of capped on tape. So that was the 470 ohm resistors. Hopefully they're right. So now we have to do, we'll do all the resistors or we'll just work our way up. Let's go with this uh, brown, black, yellow, 100K. It's 100K. 100K. Yeah, I would, um, yeah, you know, they they pay for a screen and give them a screen and then if they don't want to pay for more work, then, you know, that's not your responsibility. So, one, two, three, over. Two over. One, two, three up. Four plus. Two. See what you got here, DJ. Yeah, I, I would, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. DJ. I'm gonna put my piece of capped on tape back on here. And I'm going to solder this. Resistor, much in the same way I soldered the last one. So,
So these components are tiny compared to the holes in this perf board, but there's really not much you can do about that. So let's continue to get it done here. All right, so we have that one, and then uh, right next to that is the thread is what? Thread is two zeros, so four seven four point seven k. So I need four point seven k resistors. So I need uh, two of these. Yep, yellow, purple, red. So, yeah, this is pretty simple. This is a pretty simple project. So you'll, you get a perf board and you have a schematic, you can you can do these uh, pretty easily. So this one is going to go like so. So I want to put this to the side because I want to put this other one in. This other one is over one, two, three, four, five over. I think it's the wrong spot. That one in there. And put these other two in these uh, yellow, purple, yellow, so 470k. So 470k here. Make two of these. And you don't need the the kit to to do this. You can you can just copy what I'm doing here. You know, I'm doing it in real time. So if you want to do that, you can do that. So save a spot. Let's see, you got an Xbox One on the way with new HDMI port box and thirty digital ones. Well that's a pretty good bargain. That's a really good bargain. Yeah, getting parts was tough. It took me a while to get parts. But I, I'm not starting customer repairs until March. Um, I have a s I have a time frame I'm working on. I mean, if someone emails me and says, hey, can you look at, uh, you know, something, then I'll look at it. I mean, I have the, I have the ability to do it. It's just I don't have uh, all my setup yet, and I want my website and then, um, you know, a system to check in stuff and all that. So I have to have it all organized to a plan. So if someone emails me and says they want something fixed, I will fix it, but. I'm not, at the moment, offering customer repairs unless someone emails me. So, I will, though. It will be at the end of the month. I will hopefully have it all worked out. This is definitely the wrong tip for this. I should have used the micro pencil because I'm filling in other holes. But it happens. Well, even with the fume extractor, this stuff's blowing in my face. You know, this is, if you like to run jumper wire on traces, 
on a game system, you're going to love what's going to happen here in a little bit. So. All right. So all those resistors are down. Let me get my tape back off. Because if you like to run jumpers, this is about what's going to happen. I'm about to run a bunch of jumpers. So. up with when I run the jumpers. Okay. So some tea. Alarm's gonna go off shortly. Alright, so let's put these capacitors in. Um, this one is going to go like so. Get some solder between these two fingers, like so. Get this solder real quickly without burning myself. Sides down. No, no, not exactly. Bend the legs a little bit. Now I'm going to burn this microphone wire here in a minute. So let's cut that off. At all. Okay, now we need another one of these caparoonies. This one is going to go there. Right? Just like so. Come on, deep. Okay, so there's that. All right. Let's check that. That looks good. A lot of this can be connected with solder blobs, but I'll use wire to do it underneath the um, scope. Let's see. Hello, Kadar. How's it going? Yeah, I don't. Um, I don't buy screens. Oh, I buy screens locally. I don't really do phone screens. I mean, like screens for the switch and stuff. I'll buy those locally. I don't plan on doing phone repair anytime soon. I mean, I got a phone to fix. I got an iPhone 6 Plus up there to fix. You know, I'll do that eventually. I'll do a video on it. I have my uh, failed Nintendo Switch video coming out um, tomorrow. Hoping I can get it edited uh, today. So be hopefully it will be edited today so need to so this is what happens when you use a big iron you get the You get the else. 
too bad. So, hey, Phil, how's it going? Hello, Andy. Uh, more people showed up, so we got our transistor in there. Solder this down. Yeah, this iron in the solder is way too big for this job. And I'm going to go over how this is going to work in a minute. Is it uses basic transistors charging and discharging a capacitor. Similarly, it works how a lot of circuits work. So. I haven't done one of these videos in a little bit, so figured I would do one. So this one is going to go here. Yep, this one's going to go here. This is an actually pretty small circuit. And if I had smaller perf board, I could have made it so it would fit or use surface mount. I could actually redo this in surface mount on a custom board. You know, that wouldn't be an issue. Run all the traces with micro jumper wire. All right. So. Yeah, that new meter, that's going to be nice, Phil. I'm looking forward to that. I was hoping you were going to stream the setup you know, so people could see how to do it. Was it... Uh, was it a pain in the butt to do, to set that up and then to chroma key it out? Uh, we're going to put our LED in here. We're going to go three spaces. Uh, we're going to go in line with this. Like so. I'm just going to tack one leg here and realign the LED. So. Oh, there we go. I'll tack the other leg. So, using my HACO station for this, it's my larger iron tip, which I probably should be using the smaller one. It's what I grabbed to start with. I'm not going to change it now. So, we're going to come in here with this transistor. Put it... Here. That's the wrong way. I am getting all this on camera. A N G G Next Gen Gaming. Melvin, how's it going? Yeah, nobody uses disk drives anymore. Yeah. Um, I'm surprised you couldn't download the software off of like a website or something. That's weird. Yeah, my computer doesn't have a disk drive in it either. 
which is why I have to upgrade to a, um, either they need to upgrade my computer, which means um, I have to get a whole new case because I don't even have a disk drive port. They either have to upgrade mine or get me a new computer because I, might, I still do some work for my old company and I have to have access to their computer systems and they um, they still uh, they switch computer systems and it will not work on my system. So they either said buy a upgrade your my computer or they will uh, build me a new one. So I haven't decided what I want to do yet. That's going to be the thing. I don't even know what to put in a computer, to be honest with you. I know what I need out of, um, I know what I need, but I don't know what. I don't know what specs are good. I mean, I don't know. I mean, it has to have the specs that they, they say that's for the software, but I don't know. I don't want to do gaming on it or anything because I got enough issues with engineering softwares and stuff to drive me crazy. All right, so this is going to go like this, and we're going to see if we can... Um, so we are going to take our magnet wire here and we're going to use it as jumper wire because it has a coating on it just like doing yeah a webcam works i mean i i did i did videos with a webcam for the longest time never had an issue oh i forgot to put the capacitor in oh, i forgot to put the capacitor in Two hundred twenty microfarad capacitor is going to go right So I am going to clip that off, and then I'm going to start running these jumper wires here to these different points. All right. Now, in order to do that, I need better eyesight, because I'm not going to fire up the scope for this. Um, the, the webcams, like if you look at this webcam here, it... It'll want to autofocus all the time on you if you uh, use it to try to make a video or not. It'll constantly try to autofocus on whatever's in front of it. So they do have issues with that. Yeah, that, that's um, that camera I just showed you is a C920 by Logitech. Um, and no, it's not friendly. So. Backwards. Alright, so all right, so we have this. We're going to match this with this here. So I'm going to take a piece of this jumper wire and I am going to get my iron out. Get me some blocks flux here so I'm going to get some flux on the end of this wire like so and I'm gonna get some solder not trying to inhale it and I'm going to tend the end of this good amount here
But this stuff doesn't want to burn off at all. Wow, this is like... Wow, it didn't even burn all the coating off. And we got a tip on that one. See you later, uh, Yard. How's it going? Um, uh, thanks for stopping by, uh, NGG. Wow, I don't know why that this won't tint. Thick freaking coating, I guess. All right, so let me see here. Um, one second. Okay, now I got this one. Yeah, I'm not going to scrape a bunch of this. I want, I want one I can burn off. I have more. This might be better anyways. It's a little bigger. All right. So... Does it fit in the hole? Yes, it does. All right. So let's see if I can. Get this one going here. much better so I am going to stick this through it goes on this side of is that right oh. it goes on this side that so that will drop down to the capacitor we will get this stuck to this capacitor Put that transistor in the wrong spot so i gotta fix that real quick so um best way to do that is to drop it out it's here so 
this one, I think. So this resistor, this transistor has to move over one. So we'll clear those two holes. All right, and we'll grab that transistor and we'll stick it in the right spot. That's that. Oh, it's a magnifier. It's a lighted magnifier. But that was funny, Phil. That was. I'm just going to use a different transistor. I'm going to burn my microphone wire. I can feel it. Feel it coming. So I'm going to grab another 2N222 transistor here. Go to 10 viewers. Cheat with a stencil. Now, Phil stole my idea with the on screen meter. That's what he did. Solder that down. All right, so that's soldered in the right spot now, that happens. That is a thing that happens when you are building things. You make a mistake, but it's not a whether you can make, you make mistakes, it's whether you can fix your mistakes is the key. That is what I try to teach people, is everybody makes mistakes, but the trick is fixing your mistake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to line this up here like so. I'm going to get some solder on my end of my iron here. To burn this where this capacitor goes. I'm going to catch. A little bit more flux. Solder. Okay, so that's soldered there. Now I need to do the same thing up here by this transistor. Flux. This can be time consuming. Solder.
So that is on there. Now, that's the end of that wire. So I'm going to bend it up there and I'm going to cut it. That's the only length that one needs to be. So I'm going to check my components. They don't look out of place or whatnot. So there. So there is the first one. Yeah. Well, there, well that is just blared up to crazy and back. So there is the first one. Uh, these jumpers that are right here. I ran that one. I do need to run off of this middle post here and then tag into this, but I'm just going to run it up and then tag onto this point right here. So, so, let me see where that is. So, do I want to do the outside trees? Yeah, I could probably do that one and not bump it or interfere with it. So that one is this pin. So, is this, so if we go over one, two, three, one more, and back. We get this pin right here is where we need to connect the next wire to. And that needs to go straight back to this point and then shoot over into this joint here. So let me straighten this wire out. You know, I definitely could use regular um, wire on this because I don't think anything's jumping over each other, but, you know, it's good practice to work with the magnet wire, and especially, you know, I do the repairs of the switches and stuff. It's good to work with magnet wire to get, you know, used to using it. And this stuff is extremely thick, of course, so... much of it so I'm going to tag it right there add a little bit of more solder to that there we go. I'm going to Add some flux to this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bend it ahead of time here. So I'm going to go 
little bit of there. So like that. So that will go there and that will go over there. So Turn that up. That's corners ten. Just take this right here. All right, so. Let's place that back down, add some flux to those three points here. So let's then I'll check chat in a second. I just want to get this piece down. the issues now. Shouldn't be shorted there. I'll check it. I just need to check to make sure that's not shorted. Oh. Uh, hey, Jonathan, what's up? Hey, RV, how's it going? Uh oh, in my ear. In, I don't get the pin on my ear. What let me see? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Right here. There's the fume extractor. All right. Not putting it on the screen just because. Nope. No continuity there. So that's always a good thing. So we have those two. This is. Taking a good chunk of time, let me tell you. All right, so. All right, so let's see here. We have 
this wire. Now we need, let's see here. Let's, let's do this one here. So, let's get another bit of wire here. Walks down to our tinning port. This is what thick coating on this wire is getting so hot. All right, so that's yep, still not done yet. All right, so this one is going to go across these two pads here, go on this side of it. Let's see, where's my tweezers? So it's gonna to go to this point here. So I'm going to Bend it and then we'll cut it right there. I'm going to tin this other side so I don't have to deal with that when I solder it on. So I'm going to tin this other side here. Just be the end of it. You know, now let me get this down there. Let's see, it's gonna go like this.
does that. So I have to put a pen calculator and a Diego. How's it going? Um, yeah, old school uh, prototyping. I'm just doing a project from this book, and I'm gonna pick it up um, in a stream on maybe Thursday because I need to get a video edited of uh, that Nintendo Switch edited. And then I need to get some work done around the house because it's Monday. And Monday I need to get stuff done. So it's been an hour, 15 minutes. I thought this was going to go faster, but the magnet wire has been trolling me with the not wanting the coating to burn off. So I'm also going to figure out a faster way to do that also. Thank you guys so much for watching and have a great day.